Welcome to the Lab Safety video. I will be your hosting guy, the narrator. Today we will be showcasing some basic lab safety techniques as well as showing you some basic instruments to complete these techniques with. We're going to start off with basic containers to contain chemicals and other substances in. These are all pieces of lab equipment that are used for holding and measuring liquids, solids, gases, and aqueous solutions. Let's start off with the beaker. The beaker is used for measuring large amounts of liquids fairly accurately. is also used for mixing chemicals. The next instrument we will be showcasing is the graduated cylinder. Now before you ask, no, it's not a cylinder going off to college. We are so proud. They call it that for a specific reason that nobody knows. Anyways, the graduated cylinder is used to measure an accurate amount of liquid. The next instrument we will look at is the Erlenmeyer flask. Erlenmeyer flasks have weird shapes. As you can see, a stopper fits easily on top. These are all the most important chemical holders in a chemist's lab. Now we're going to move on to grippers. Tweezers. Tweezers are used to grab little tiny things. They cannot grab big things. Oh! My contact! Forceps. This is another name for tweezers. Beaker tongs. Beaker tongs are like huge tweezers, used for grabbing beakers and stuff. Test tube clamps. Test tube clamps are for picking up test tubes and test tubes only. As you can see, each of these grippers has a specific purpose and thing it can pick up. They should not be used for any other purpose.
Now on to the specialized items. These items have a specific purpose that only they can do. Bunsen burner. He should only be used for heating solutions. No burning paper or anything else. Bunsen burner lighter. These are used specifically for lighting Bunsen burners. They may look like cool sparklers, but they aren't. Mortar and pastel. Mortar and pastel are used for crushing solids. They can come in a variety of sizes. The bowl shaped part is the mortar. This is where you put the solid you wish to crush. Then you use the pastel or stick looking thing to crush the solid against the sides. As you can see, like the grippers, each specialized item has a specialized purpose and it can be dangerous if used incorrectly. Yeah, that was my lunch. Now, we're going to show you some miscellaneous items. These are items that you will probably use, but we couldn't think of a classification for. The rubber stopper. Rubber stoppers are used to prevent gases and liquids from escaping bottles. They're also really fun to balance, but don't do this in the lab. To secure to a bottle, simply press a correct size stopper into the opening. You will probably notice if you don't have the correct size. Pipette. Pipettes are used to measure, add, or remove tiny amounts of liquid from larger things such as beakers, graduated cylinders, and flasks. You shouldn't try to move large amounts of liquid because it is so small. 